Hi, I'm Nicole Kaup from Northwest School of Accent Reduction, or NWSOAR for short, where you can learn how to speak clear, understandable American English. Today, let's learn how to pronounce U.S. states. Do you live in the United States but have trouble pronouncing some of our state names? You're not alone. Some U.S. place names have weird spellings, which makes it hard to guess their pronunciation. Over the next three videos, you're going to learn the correct American English pronunciation of all 50 states. In this video, you'll learn the pronunciation of states beginning with the letters A through L. Do you live in the United States? If so, tell me the city and state you live in in the comments section below. Before we get started learning the state names, I highly recommend you already be familiar with the schwa sound and the concept of word stress. If you're not, I encourage you to watch those videos first and then come back to this lesson. This lesson will make a lot more sense to you once you understand those ideas. Now a lot of American place names come from other languages like Spanish, French, or Native American Indian languages. If you speak one of those languages, you may feel like my pronunciation of these names is wrong. But what I'm going to teach you in this video is how Americans pronounce these words, not how it should be pronounced based on the language the word came from. We may keep the original spelling of the words, but we change the pronunciation to fit the sound system of English. Let's get started. The first state is Alabama. I've written the pronunciation on the screen for you in two ways. You'll see the primary stress syllable in all capital letters. This is the syllable you should say loudest and longest in the word. I have also noted it with a long line to remind you to hold that syllable longer. And remember the syllable for the schwa sound? It's the letter E, but it's turned upside down. And don't forget the pronunciation of the schwa. It's a weak, quiet sound that sounds kind of like this. Uh. Uh kind of like the U in the word fun. I also noted for you the schwa's with just a little dot to remind you to pronounce that sound lightly. Now the syllables marked with a shorter line are secondary stress syllables. You will hear their vowel sound pronounced clearly, but they are not held as long as the primary stress syllable. Look at the word Alabama with me. The first syllable is a secondary stress syllable, followed by a schwa. The loudest and longest syllable, or the primary stress syllable, is on bam, that third syllable. And then the final A is also a schwa sound. Pronounce it with me. Alabama. Alabama. You'll also see that I've changed the spelling a bit in the pronunciation section on the right-hand side of your screen. The A-E refers to the American short A pronunciation. It sounds like this, A. Ah. Notice it's not an AH sound. It's different. To say it, your tongue touches your bottom front teeth. Your mouth is quite open, and your lips are almost in a smile, like this. Ah. Ah. Now say Alabama with me. Alabama. Alabama. Now Alaska. The middle syllable has primary stress, and the first and last A's reduced to a schwa sound. Alaska. Alaska. Notice that that middle A is also an A sound, like in Alabama. Now, 
Arizona. There are two schwas in this one too. The stress falls on the third syllable, zone. Let's take a look at the O in this word. It's what we call a long O. The American long O sound is not a simple O like it is in many languages, but it is in fact a combination of two vowel sounds, both an O and a U. O, O. Stretch out that sound and glide from O to U. O. Now that is the sound the O makes in Arizona. Do it with me. Arizona. Now Arkansas. The first syllable is stressed. The middle A is a schwa. And something big to note in this word, the final S is silent. The word is Arkansas. Arkansas. Now that you've got the hang of it, we'll go a little faster for the remaining words. California. Make sure to stress for. California. Really stretch it out and make sure the first I is pronounced as a schwa sound. It's not Cali, it's Cala. California. And the ending is a little unusual too. It sounds like nya, nya. California. Colorado. Stress is on raw. And don't let your eyes fool you. The first two O's are not pronounced O, they're pronounced ah. But the final O is a long O, so stretch it out like we did in Arizona. Let's do it together. Colorado. Colorado. Connecticut. This word has a silent letter. The middle C is silent. And the middle syllable is also the primary stress syllable. Pronounce that middle syllable net. Connecticut. Connecticut. Delaware. Stress is on the first syllable. The last syllable, W-A-R-E, sounds just like the word wear, W-E-A-R. Like wear clothes, wear a shirt, wear pants. Delaware. Delaware. Florida. Stress is on the first syllable and make sure to pronounce that I as a schwa, just like we did in the word California. Notice it's Florida, Florida. Georgia, stress the first syllable again. This word sounds quite similar to the name George. And in English, both of the G's here are pronounced with the hard J sound. J. Georgia. Georgia. Hawaii. Most people's favorite state. Now the middle syllable has the primary stress and we pronounce it like the word Y. Notice Hawaii. Hawaii. Idaho. This is an unusual word. The first syllable sounds just like the letter I. Middle syllable is a schwa, and the last syllable has secondary stress, so you will fully pronounce the final O, just not as long as the first syllable I. Again, this is a long O, just like we saw in the word Arizona, so stretch it out and glide from O to U. O, O, Idaho, Idaho. Illinois. 
This word is also a little unusual. You stress the last syllable in this word, and that's an unusual stress pattern for English. And the final S is silent. Illinois. Illinois. Indiana. I know this word looks just like the word Indian, but don't be fooled. The stress pattern is different. Stress falls on the third syllable, an. Indiana. Indiana. Iowa. This tiny little word actually has three syllables. Again, stress the I and separate it from the O. Iowa. Iowa. Kansas. This one is relatively easy. Stress the first syllable and note the middle S is pronounced as a Z. Kansas. Kansas. Kentucky. The middle syllable is stressed in this one. Kentucky. Kentucky. Louisiana. Like Indiana, this one also stresses the syllable an. Louisiana. Louisiana. Make sure you get all five syllables. So which of these state names are hard for you to pronounce? Please tell me about it in the comments below. Make sure to watch the next video where you'll learn the pronunciation of states beginning with the letters M and N. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you liked it and learned something new, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.